beauties, welcome back to my beauties at Big Sister channel. I am so buzzing for this video. My very first video featuring my beauties little sister. Okay, so the products that we are reviewing today is the NYX Lingerie Vault. As you can see, it is now empty because I have got them all lined up here ready to test. We've also got Chloe and Kajal who are reviewing three NYX lip lingeries each. The sad news is that I did send three to Girlie in Estonia. I am so sorry, but your parcel, it could be anywhere basically in the world right now, which is so annoying. But Girlie, don't worry, the next video featuring my beauty little sisters, you will be one. Now, if you haven't tried the NYX lip lingeries yet, or you haven't heard of them, they are so popular, they have a cult following, hence why they brought out a lingerie vault. So in this vault, there is 30 liquid lipsticks and six of the shades are actually exclusive to this set the rest of them you can buy individually full-sized these six here are exclusive to this set but I would keep your eyes peeled because I reckon NYX might bring out those shades later on in the year if they are popular on their own individually they are seven pounds the NYX lingerie vault currently in the minute has got 24% off on cultbeauty.com so it was 65 pounds it's now 45 pound 50 on there so I will leave all the links below if you want to check them out. Just a brief description on the lip lingeries, it just says that they are a weightless liquid lipstick with a plush matte finish. So let's get in to trying these out. When you're dealing with liquid lipsticks, if you have gorgeous moisturized plump lips, naturally then you will be fine. If like me, it is winter and my lips are quite dry, you need to moisturize these bad boys. <laughs> Otherwise the liquid lipstick is just gonna go dry and not look nice at all. So I'm gonna prep my lips with the Sol de Janeiro Brazilian Kiss Lip Butter. If you've watched my videos before, you will know that this scent is like my favorite scent in the world. I use the body butter, I use the shower gel, and now I'm pretty obsessed with the lip balm, mostly because of the scent. So just moisturize my lips. You can use any lip balm at all, as long as it isn't like too gloopy or thick. So you just want a nice sheer light coverage of your lip balm. Mmm, it tastes so good. Just taking off the excess. Okay, first shade we're gonna go in with is Bedtime Flirt. I love the look of these shades. The only thing I would say, looking at them now, they look like they're kind of cracked in the bottle. So let's see how they apply. You can see these are the minis that come in the vault. So it's a good opportunity to try different colors, but also for you guys, I'm gonna test them all out and you can see if you wanna buy maybe one of these shades full size. Ooh, my mirror's dirty. Oh, I can't even see myself. <laughs> Do you know what? I don't think I've ever tried a NYX lingerie. This formula is so nice. Always remember to go here. <laughs> can't really talk while I'm doing that. Here around the sides because when you open your mouth, you don't want like a gap. I'm gonna go in with another little coat here. In terms of colour, this is like the perfect everyday colour. It's warm, it's nude, it will go with everything. I think it's really flattering against my skin tone. So a bedtime flirt, you are definitely staying in my keep pile. Now with the formula, I'm actually really impressed. I thought it would be a lot more drying than it is just because I've read so many reviews that it just lasts for ages, whether you go out eating, drinking, it just stays put, which is brilliant. Um, but it doesn't actually feel that dry, which I'm surprised at because normally the longer lasting, the drier it is. This feels really, really lightweight on the lips, which I love. It doesn't really feel like you've got anything on and yeah, I'm impressed. Also, for a mini as well, the wand is perfect. It's applied perfectly, nice and evenly. Off the shade. Now, liquid lipsticks are so popular because once they go on, they're really hard to get off. So when you do want to take it off, it can be a struggle. I would recommend using an oil-based cleanser. This is just the easiest way to remove a liquid lipstick. I've talked about this one Lowe's and it's one that I have been using for a couple of months now. You can see I'm about halfway through and this is the Bare Minerals Oil Obsessed Total Cleansing Oil. Really love this. Let me know what your favorite liquid lipstick is in the comments below. Wow, this is hard to remove. 
any more oil. You can definitely tell it's gonna stay pert. Next we have Lie To Me, which looks like more of a grage kind of shade, like a nude gray, um, but with a violet undertone. So I'm excited to give this one a go. What's really handy about this applicator is if you flip it, so if you're applying like this, then you flip it, you can use the other side to outline your lip. It's like a really neat way of just tidying up. The only thing I would say about this color is that it just took a little bit more time to like build the color up. Slightly patchy on my first coat, so I just went over and done another coat, and now it looks really smooth. I think this looks so cool. This reminds me of a Kylie Jenner-esque color. Really on trend, very different. I love it teamed against my gray jumper. What do we think? Now we have Silk Indulgent, which I think I'm gonna love because it's like a peachy color. I love peach on the lips. Let's see what it looks like. Ugh, that's my teeth. Guys, I'm not gonna lie. I am having a nightmare trying to apply this. This is not the shade for me. It's like applying really unevenly, especially on my bottom lip. It's quite transparent. It's just like clinging to all the dry bits on my lips it just no i know i can imagine this looking amazing on kylie jenner's lips because they're really like plumped up and smooth whereas because of mine they're just like a little bit dry it just does not look good there it's a cute color but this one this is not for me i'm excited to try this one this is called after hours super deep chocolate brown very adventurous for me Wow. I am living for this shade. I think dark brown on the lips just looks so sophisticated and fierce. This is definitely one of my favorites. This is going firmly in the keep pile. We have Raw Emotion, which is probably the creamiest, lightest nude that I've tried so far in this collection. This is gorgeous, such a shade that I'd wear every day. Great everyday nude. The nudes are definitely easier to apply than like the peaches and the browns. Um, this just applied so quickly. I think this complements my eye look really well. This is one of my favorites. Probably gonna end up saying that for like everyone, aren't I? <laughs> this is my favorite. This is gorgeous, I love this. <laughs> Seriously, Daisy, be more harsh. Now we have Seduction, which looks gorgeous. So this is a very fiery burnt orange. I am really liking this color. I think this is a great color. If you're not confident enough to wear like a bright color during the day, you can still wear color with this, but it's just a little bit more muted, a bit more subtle. I don't have high hopes for this one just because of how the other light peach one but this is called cheekies and it's even lighter than the last one so it's a really light peach color guys it's just not working i really really love the color i think it's really cute but the coverage just is not working for me like when i try and layer it up it just seems to go patchy so these lighter peaches are just not working for me. Now, so you have a little bit of a break from me, we are gonna cut to the gorgeous Kajal. Guys, and I'm from the UK. Today, I'm gonna be quickly testing out these three liquid lipsticks from NYX. First shade that I'm gonna be trying out is this one. It's called Dusty Dawn. Okay, so as you can see, the first shade is very nude. And to be quite honest, I really like the kind of shade of it. Um, Number one, they're really easy to apply. Like you don't have to keep going over the same spot again and again, they're very pigmented. Next one I'm gonna be using is me and Mirage. Okay, so I literally love this shade. This one is that pinkish nudie shade, and as you can see, it just looks so nice. It doesn't feel really kind of harsh on my lips. It feels really nice actually. Um, it literally feels like I've got nothing on my lips. I'd actually be tempted to buy the full sizes of these. But guys, can we just take a moment on how amazing the shade is? So this one is the shade Mesmerize. Okay, like honestly, I feel like every single skin tone can literally work with these shades. Like when you have to remove these, they take forever. 
but it's so good because it shows you that when you kind of drinking throughout the day or eating they're not going to budge i love the shade amazing i would definitely buy this again and definitely wear it i'm really really impressed with these nyx lingerie i didn't actually know what all the fuss was when everyone used to rave about them on instagram and whatnot but yeah i really like them thank you so much for watching guys and i'll see you soon bye this is so exciting thank you so much kajal for featuring in my video for reviewing these products i'm glad you love them as well that deep shade looks incredible on you, as does the nude shades. You're beautiful, thank you so much. And you are right, they are hard to remove. <laughs> now moving on to this shade, which is Confidence. So hopefully it's gonna give me a bit of sass, a little bit of confidence. It's also a deep brown, so let's give this a whirl. I think these grey kind of tones are really cool. It's definitely a shade that I don't normally wear, so I'm definitely gonna keep these in my collection for when I'm feeling daring. Now this is more of like a rosier shade. This is Bustier and it's a rosy pink. Got to be careful because you get these kind of lumps in it, so I'm just wiping it on the side and taking away the product that I need because otherwise it just comes out in kind of quite large lumps, which you don't want. This is the first pink toned color I've tried in the collection so far, and I love it so much. It's super girly, really feminine. Next we have French Made, which looks more of like a plummy rose, so a little bit darker. This is such a pretty colour. I really love how delicate it is. I love the dusky rose. This shade is just so flattering and I feel like it's the perfect colour for spring. I mean, as you can tell, I'm very indecisive and I kind of love it all. So please let me know your favourites in the comments. Then we have Corset. Now looking at this, I am not sure how well this is going to suit me. I feel like this might wash me out. This is super super light creamy nude so i'm skeptical but let's give this a go oh, i know i was skeptical but i actually really like this color even though it's really light it applied so creamy really did glide on and it isn't as pal as it looks in the bottle so i really like this one okay i have been off i've had some lunch I'm recuperated. I do have a headache though from these lights, which is not ideal. I realise how long it would take to swatch all these lip colours, so let's crack on. The next one is Baby Doll, which looks like a really pretty nude. I love the sound of the name. It sounds really cute. What is going on with my hair? I love how you just glide them on and they're so creamy and then they just like set into place. And once they're on, they're not going to budge. Now I don't really know what to say about this shade because it's just a classic everyday nude. I think I prefer the more darker, warmer nudes in this collection, but it's still really pretty and I love that it's called a baby doll. This looks gorgeous. This is called Ruffle Trim. Really warm nude, definitely up my street. I love this kind of shade. As I thought, I completely adore this shade. It's definitely one I'm gonna be reaching to time and time again. Love that it's warm. I love that it's got that kind of peachy undertone to it. Such a wearable nude. Thumbs up. We are going dark again. This is called Beauty Mark and it looks a lot more richer than the other ones. It reminds me of like a melted chocolate bar. I think what this video has taught me is that I should definitely just wear brown lips more because all of the dark brown shades I am in love with. We have Lace Detail. I think I've definitely seen this shade on social media like Instagram and on YouTube and stuff. So it looks like a really gorgeous creamy nude. I just Can you see how creamy that is? Again, it's just a classic really wearable nude i feel like there is so many nudes in this collection that i'm getting a little bit you know so what i'm gonna do is when i edit this i'm gonna make a note of my favorite shades like top five and i'll put them in the comments box below and i'll pin the comments so you can see my favorites but i do really love this one now we're spicing things up okay this shade is called 
scandalous and that it definitely is this is like a khaki green but again it's on that muted kind of vibe this is gonna be unique I've just looked down and I have lipstick like on my top can you see it that how did that even happen like how in terms of coverage, this did take a little bit more work. I feel like it probably does need another coat on top of this as well. But in terms of colour, I mean, how cool is it? I just need to be brave enough to wear this colour. This name is so apt to this shade. This is called Exotic and it's the warmest colour in this collection. It's more of a red. My all-time favourite red is a deep red, so this is perfect for me. I love that I've got now a deep red in a matte formula because I don't have that currently. Now we have We Ready, which is a tan. It's a light tan. This one I'm just not so much a fan of. I feel like it blends into my skin too much. I think this would look amazing though on a deep skin tone this would be a really good colour. Again, we're going to have a little bit of a break from me and switch to the gorgeous Chloe. Hi, I'm Chloe. I'm from the Cotswolds and I'm 13 years old. I was really excited to be chosen as one of Daisy's little sisters and she sent me these three lipsticks to review today. First shade I have to show you is this dusky rose colour called Tainted. It has a really nice applicator so it's very easy to apply and the product formula is very smooth. This is also my favourite of the three. The second shade I have to show you is this warm toned nude called Satin Ribbon. It's quite close to my skin tone so I would wear it as an everyday school lipstick. The applicator followed the shape of my lips which I found really handy. The third shade I have to show you is this cool toned brown called Honeymoon. After my first layer I saw it's quite patchy on my upper lips so I thought I'd put on a second and then after that I thought I would put on a third to intensify the colour. This is quite a brave colour so I would wear it if I was going out with my friends or to the cinema or shopping and I really really think this is a cool colour to wear. I found that they lasted a really really long time which was a good thing to find in lipstick. Um, I would absolutely buy these again, I've already asked my mum if I can have them for my birthday and I really really enjoyed sharing these with you today. Hope to see you soon, bye! How gorgeous is Chloe? That last shade on you, <gasps> you need to wear that on weekends, yeah it's not great for school but weekends, that is a perfect colour on you and I love that you've now put them on your birthday list. I mean, sorry mum. <laughs> okay, second from last, we are nearly there. We have now got the shade Teddy. Oh, I love that name and this is a deep brown. I think I'm gonna love this. You are gonna be seeing me in brown lipstick a lot more, I think. If you made it to the last shade, then thank you. The last shade is Push Up. Classic warm nude. Obviously, it's a warm nude, so obviously I love it. <laughs> and that is my full review of the NYX Lip Lingerie Vault. I am shattered. <laughs> I fully get why everybody is obsessed with the lip lingerie formulas. Shades are incredible. As I said, I'm going to put in the comment box uh, my favourites out of this video. Thank you so, so, so much to Kajal and Chloe for reviewing them shades. It's so amazing to have you in my videos and I cannot wait to do more videos featuring more of you guys. If you haven't already signed up to being a beauty's little sister, then I will pop all the details in the description box below. Please let me know in the comments how you are, what you've been up to. Am I the only person that's not healthy eating right now? Like it's too cold and miserable and rainy outside to be eating salad and fruit. So I, I'm over here just eating my chocolates and my milk bowls. <laughs> Thank you so much for watching this video. Please subscribe if you haven't already. It would so, so mean so much. And please like below if you did enjoy this video and I will see you in my next one. Bye.